Slow juicers are wonderful for maximizing the amount of nutrients you get out of your food when you juice. The problem with them is that some people don't like that you have to cut your food down before putting it into the small feed tube that slow juicers have. Well, no longer. The team at Kuvings has designed a slow juicer that takes whole foods. So let's make some carrot ginger juice and I'll show you how it works. I chose this juice because it really demonstrates how this machine takes a lot of the prep work out of slow juicing. I have my whole apples, whole carrots, and my ginger. I'm just gonna press this button up for forward, which will pull the ingredients downward. So let's start with our apples. I'm gonna drop one down the chute, and then just align this dot right here with the one right here. And there it goes. You don't want to overuse or press the pusher too much because it can actually affect the quality of your juice. There's one apple. Now see this, I can actually keep it all in there if I want to combine my juices as they're going or just open this and the juice will come right out. I'm going to do one more apple, line it up again and just press to get it started. It's amazing, it just takes it right down. It's doing all the work for me. Now if at any time you find that something seems like it might be stuck, you can actually flip this button down to reverse, dislodge it, and then press forward again. So now I'll add my carrots. Perfect. You don't even have to put any pressure on it, it's incredible. One more. This is one of my favorite combinations. It actually smells so good already. Now let's add a little piece of ginger. If you're using frozen fruits and vegetables, you'll want to defrost them before you put them in. Also, if you're using any fruits with pits, you'd want to remove those first. Okay, so let's try our juice. I'm gonna close the cap so it doesn't drip onto the counter. Oh my gosh, this smells incredible. It's delicious. And just like other slow juicers, it expertly juices greens, including wheatgrass. Today I'm gonna to do some kale. Just gonna put a few leaves in at a time. and then I'll push down on it. Line it up, and there it goes. The Kuvings Slow Juicer is also great for tomato juice because you can just drop your whole tomatoes right down the chute. Then it hardly takes any pressure. Add one more. There it goes. You can even make almond milk with it. For easier cleanup, run the juicer for an additional 30 seconds after you finish juicing. Then unplug, disassemble, and hand wash in the sink. It's not necessary to clean between juices in a single juicing session. If you're just changing juices, simply run some water through the juicer to give it a rinse. 